Welcome back. Time to configure the tool called Burpsuit. And Burpsuit is a tool that allows us to intercept and take a look at different HTTP requests and HTTP responses. It also allows us to change those HTTP requests to our liking and then forward them to our target. It is also considered a proxy, so everything and every link that we visit through our Firefox from now on will go through Burpsuit first and we will be able to inspect all of our HTTP requests and responses. Let us see how we can configure it and get it to work. So we already got Burpsuit inside of our Cal Linux machine. If you go onto the menu and then Web Application Analysis, you will have it right here. The first thing that we want to do is double click it to start it up. This will start up the Burpsuit Community Edition and there is also a professional edition that you must pay for, but for now on, we're just going to cover the Community Edition inside of this course. It might give you this error, you just want to click on OK. And in just a few seconds, we should have the main menu of Burpsuit open up. And here it is, Terms and Conditions, I want to click on Accept. And here it tells us an update is available. I'm not really interested in the update at the moment. Here I want to select the temporary project, click on that and click on next. I want to select right here, use burp defaults and start burp suit. After a few seconds, it should open something like this. And we can see a lot of things are happening on our screen. If I enlarge it, you will see that we get a bunch of different options with this burp suit tool. But let's not think about them at the moment. For now, let us just think about how we can configure our burp suit to be used by Firefox as a proxy. Well, the first thing that we want to do is navigate to the burp suit tool, click on proxy right here, and under the proxy, we get this options tab. Under the options, we will have these proxy listeners, and under the proxy listeners, you want to select this right here, and you want to click on edit. If you don't have anything right here, just click on add. Here we want to bind to port 8080 and we want to bind to address loopback only. Once you get this set up, click on OK. And after you got this, what we want to do is we want to navigate to our Firefox and on these three lines right here, we want to navigate to the preferences. Under the general tab in the preferences, we want to navigate all the way down and at the last option where we got network settings, we want to click on settings. Here it will ask us to configure proxy access to the internet and we want to set right here manual proxy configuration. Under the HTTP proxy, we want to set the IP address and in our case we are going to set the IP address of our local host, which is for everyone, this IP address right here, and the port should be 8080. And then we can set use this proxy for all protocols. Also make sure that the SOX v5 is checked and once you do all of that, you can click on OK. Now that we did this, if I go and try to visit google.com, it will tell me software is preventing Firefox from safely connecting to this website. And you should get this error too. Why does this happen? Well, our Firefox doesn't really trust our Burpsuit tool. And currently, all of the packets are going through this tool before we can see them on our screen. So we're getting a warning from the Firefox that some software is preventing from having a secure connection to that website. What can we do about this? Well, we can go to our Firefox and visit any HTTP website that we want. It won't present us a problem for HTTP websites. It will only present us a problem for HTTPS websites. But we also want to visit HTTPS websites such as Facebook, such as Google and all the others. To do that, we must type this link inside of our search bar, which is HTTP, two dots, slash slash, and then burp. Press enter, and you will open this page right here. It will tell us, welcome to Burpsuit Community Edition, and here we will be able to download the certificate which we can then import inside of our Firefox and make Firefox trust our burp suit tool. So just click on CA certificate, click on save file and click on OK. Once you do that, the file will be inside of our downloads directory as we can see it right here. This is its name. 
And all we need to do is go back to the preferences inside of our Firefox, navigate to privacy and security, and all the way down, we will have a certificates part. Under the certificates part, we want to click on view certificates, and we want to click on import a certificate. Then you want to navigate to the downloads directory, select the certificate that we just downloaded, and then click on open. We want to select trust this CA to identify websites and trust this CA to identify email users. Click on OK and also click on OK right here. If I go back and I refresh google.com, hmm, it seems to still load. It doesn't really do anything. So why isn't it loading our page? Well, in the burp suit by default, you should see if you go back after trying to open Google once again, that this proxy will turn orange and this intercept will also turn orange. So if we go to proxy and then intercept, we will have an HTTP request. And this is a request that we just initiated to the host www.google.com. We can see all of those fields that we talked about such as host, such as user agent. Under the user agent, we can see which type of web browser are we using. We can also see the cookie right here. And the reason why we are not loading the page and it is still loading right here is because the intercept is turned on. This means it will intercept this packet before it actually forwards it to the web page. We can forward it manually by pressing this, or we can just turn the intercept off and then it will not intercept any packets. So if I go back to Google, right now you can see we successfully loaded Google. If we want, we can go right here under the target and we can see all the links that we visited while the burp suit was running. So we can see Google right here and we can see all of the requests and responses that we got for the Google. So here is the request for the www.google.com that we just did and here is the response from the Google that says status code 200 OK, which means we successfully loaded the page, which we indeed loaded. And here is the code of that page. Cool, right? Now we can intercept any packets to any website. Great. Now that we covered configuration of Burpsuit, in the next video, we can go and perform our first attack. And in the future videos, we're also going to cover more details about this Burpsuit tool. But for now on, we just managed to configure it and we're ready to, in the next video, perform our first attack. See you there.